uh, to this Thursday night. We're going to be going over how to program the outside of our base block on OP2. So we're going to basically be programming this profile pass around the outside. We're also going to work on our programs for cutting this slot in here. So to do both, we're going to use a half inch end mill. And we're going to be taking multiple passes in the Z axis. So we're going to be using our same format that we learned the other week with main program, sub program. So to start programming this, I actually want to do a uh, radial lead in right up here uh, just before this entry point. And I'm going to have an overlap of about a hundred thousands on here so that we can not have a line as it enters and exits the part. So right up here in this corner is where I'm going to start with my lead in lead out. And we're going to work around this part. So we're going to write the sub program first. So all we're focused on is getting around this part. So when we're writing our sub program, we don't have to have the header in the ending. Uh, we do have to start with the percent sign though. And we have to have our program number. So I'm going to go uh, O 0 So it'll be program 20. And we'll... Uh, We'll call this space um, sub op two. Uh, we'll call it base sub one for op two because we're going to have multiple sub programs. Now, where I'm going to start is at this point right here so if you see we are uh, up to the top of the block we have four inches and this radius on the top is a quarter of an inch so we're at 3.75 and I want to start a hundred thousands below that so 3.65 but then I'm gonna have a radial lead-in of a half of an inch so my y-axis start point is actually going to be um, 3.65 so that allows for my quarter inch radius and my extra hundred thousands and I'm going to start an inch left of the part so that I can have a half inch activation for my cutter compensation so our start point is going to be D00 um, X of minus one inch y of 0.315 and that's how that math ends up working out to get that all that extra quarter inch plus the hundred thousands and plus that half inch radial so now i want to go ahead and make my first move moving into the part where i'm going to activate my cutter compensation so it's going to be a g01 move and then g 41 to activate my cutter compensation. We're going to move X a half of an inch. So X will move to minus 0.5. And then my Y of 3.15 um, isn't changing. So this is just a straight line move. And then I'm going to add my D value to turn on my cutter compensation. And this is my first feed move. So I have to put a feed rate in there. So feed of 30 inches a minute. Now we're going to go ahead and, and uh, make our radial arc on move. So we're going to arc on and end up 100 thousandths lower than this radius. So G03, X, the end point of my arc is going to be 0, Y of 3.65, which is Y of half inch higher than where I was before. That'd be an I0 and a J of 0.5. So now I'm, I'm actually come over and I've touched the part 
Now I want to move up a hundred thousands because I'm a hundred thousands lower than this radius right here. So I just want to move up to get to that radius and then we can go ahead and do programming as usual. So a little tricky on this entry point when we do it this way, but it, it, it makes for a much better machined part. So G01, um, X0, and then Y of 3.75. So now we should have had a straight line move in and then an arc up and then a hundred thousandths move up. So if I push plot, we should see that. Um, I missed a point right up here. Y of 3.15, I got. Let me get that fixed real quick. Try that again, that looks a lot better. So we started over here, this this straight line here would be our cutter comp activation, then we radial in, then we move up 100,000. So now we're just gonna go ahead and program like normal. So our next line of code, we got a, uh, a clockwise arc, so we're gonna be a G02. Um, X of the end point, X of 0.25, Y of four inches, I of 0.25 J0. Now we're going to go into a G01, move all the way on over to the other side of the part. So it's going to be 5.75. Then another clockwise move, G02, X of 6 inches. Um, y of 3, 7, 5, I 0, J of minus 0.25. So if I plot that out, something happened here. G 0, 1, I forgot my X. Try that again. There we go. So we plot that out. And we're moving across and moving on down. So now we want another straight line move, G01. Um, we're just moving Y axis to 0.25. Now we get another G02 arc coming around the bottom. So X of 5.75. Y zero, and then I of minus 0.25 J zero. Let's plot that out. Looking good. Now we have uh, another G zero one move, just moving X axis to 0.25. Then we've got another arc, G zero two, X zero, Y of 0.25. And then our I is zero, J of 0.25. Plot that out, we got that art good. Now we're gonna come back up here and we're actually gonna go all the way up to this point here where we left off. So then we have this hundred thousands overlap for our cutter and that keeps it from leaving a line on the part uh, when it machines. So that's gonna be a G01 move. And we're gonna move Y up to 3.75. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and perform our radial off. And so that one's going to be a counterclockwise arc, G03, X of minus 0.5, um, Y of 4.25. So it's going to be this 3.75 point here plus a, an extra half of an inch for that radial. So and then our I will be minus 0.5, J0. We plot that out and we get our nice little lead off. And now we want to deactivate our cutter compensation. So we need our G, G01, 
G40 for the cutter comp deactivation. And we're gonna move back out that extra half of an inch. We'll go to, back to X of minus point, or one point. Okay, so if I plot that out, you can see, so we started, we had a radial on, we went around the part, and we radialed off. We have cutter compensation all built into the subprogram. We need to end a subprogram with an M99 and then a percent sign. Okay, so what you see right here, this will be our subprogram one. Now, that's going to cut the outside profile of this part. Now, if I want to build another subprogram to cut this slot, that's what we're going to go ahead and take a look at now. And this one will be done in the same format um, to where we're just making it a a subprogram. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just write it right on here with this, but you're going to actually want to make this a separate uh, NC file as a separate subprogram. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll start with our percent sign. We're going to name this one um, O00021. And uh, I'm going to call this base sub 2 op 2. And uh, just like before, we need to get to our start point. So same kind of math. We had a hundred thousands radius on here, here and here. And we want to climb cut. So what I'm going to do is just kind of do the math so that I start um, an inch off the part. I can have my half inch radial in, my half in, or sorry, my half inch straight line in where I activate my cutter compensation, a half inch radial lead in down to this point and then we will work across here and then have our half inch radial out and then our half inch line to deactivate cutter compensation. So looking at this, if this is my true start point of cutting, I need to have a half inch radius here and a half inch straight line. So when you when you look at that those numbers, it works out to uh, start point G00X of seven inches, so an inch past the part, and y of 3.475. And where I get that y number, I remember my y, where I get that y number is, I am 2.875 to this line, I'm up another hundred thousandths for my radius, and then up a half of an inch for my radial lead in. Okay, so now I want to have my straight line move where I, where I turn on my cutter compensation. So G, G01, G41, uh, moving X a half of an inch, X of 6.5. Uh, my Y stays alone uh, or, or stays the same. D1 to activate D, and then I'm going to add my feed rate F of 30 inches a minute. Now we're going to go ahead and radial onto the part. So G03 for our counterclockwise arc. X of 6 inches is where I'm going to end up. Y of 2.975. So it's going to be a half inch lower than where I currently was. Um, I0 and J of minus 0.5. Now we're going to go. We're going to cut this little corner radius here. So that's going to be a clockwise arc, G02. Uh, X of 5.9, because we're moving 100 thousandths. Y is going to be 100 thousandths lower than where I just was, so Y of 2.875. And then I of minus 0.1J0. Plot that, you should see, here's my 
half inch lead in my radial on and then my radius through this little tiny line here. Now I want a G01 over to the other side of the part. So it's going to be an X of 0.1. Now I'm going to do my 100 thousandths radius on that corner. So it's another G02 clockwise arc. X0, Y of 2.975, I0, and J of 0.1. I plot that I should see the little radius over here on the other side okay now I want to have my radial out so we're going back to a g03 arc x of minus 0.5 y of 3.475 i of minus 0.5 j0 and then we have to deactivate cutter compensation with our half inch move. So we'll go G01, G40, X of minus 0.1, or sorry, X of minus 1 point. Plot that out. And there's our nice little lead on, lead off move for cutting that slot. And we end the program with M99 and a percent sign. So there's your first sub, there's your second sub. I'm gonna leave you guys to write the third sub and see how you do. And this is gonna be the same thing we just wrote except for the bottom part of the slot, okay? So we have to machine this slot, this side of the slot, and we have to machine this side of the slot. So you're gonna to wanna to start an inch away, half inch radial on, cut the 100 thousandths radius, come across the part, 100 thousandths radius, half inch radial off, and then a half inch for deactivating your cutter compensation. You want to climb cuts. You want to start on the left, work to the right, and uh, see if with those examples you can get that program. So these are your sub-programs that you want to write. Now, once you have your sub-programs done, you're going to want to go back and write the main program. And the reason we want to do this with a main program is because we want to take step-downs as a part of this. Okay, so this, this slot here is a quarter inch deep, and this entire block is 750 thousandths deep. And what I want to do is take 100,000 step downs. So let's take a look at what that is going to be. So let me delete this and get rid of this. And we'll start from scratch. And this one's not going to plot out quite right, but we'll just keep right on this, uh, this NC plotter. So. You're, I'm going to start with my percent sign, and I'm going to go O, uh, 0, 0, 0, let's go 19, because we did 20 and 21 for the two sub-programs, and we're going to call this Op2, or Base Op2 uh, Main Program. And in your main program, um, this is where you're going to want your actual header um, uh, with your tool change and your RPM and everything. So let's go ahead and just do uh, do our safe line uh, G00, G50, and we'll just go with G00, and our G90. I've already got that in there. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and do a tool change, so tool 1, M6, and this is going to be a half inch end mill. Uh, we're going to turn our spindle speed on. That's 5000 M3. Um, now this is G54 lines. So we're going to move to our start point. So it's basically going to be the very first point that we started at when we cut this profile. So this point right over here. So that was X of minus one inch and Y of 3.15. So once I'm there, now I want to activate my height offset. So my G43. Z of 1 inch H1, 
And now I want to go ahead and I want to feed down to my first Z height. Now on this part, because this is op two, Z zero is going to be the bottom of the part and it's three quarters of an inch thick. So my first actual Z pass, if I'm going 100,000 feet, is going to be Z of 650 thousandths, which is 650 thousandths above the Z0, which is the bottom of the part. So we're going to move down to G01, Z of 0 0.650 at a feed of 30 inches a minute. And now we're going to go ahead and walk around our part. Now we've already written the program for this. This is sub program number one. So what I want to do is go M98 P 00020. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna throw a parenthesis on there outside profile. So that's what it's cutting. So that will jump out of this program, go into that first sub program we created and run it around there. Then when I get back into the main program, I'm going to take my next Z pass, which is going to be G01 Z of 0.55. And then I want to go ahead and run my sub program again. So I'm 98 P 00020. Okay. Now we want to repeat this until I get all the way below the part. So I can copy and paste it enough times to get all the way below that part. So I've got Z of 0 0.65, Z of 0 0.55. Z of 0.45, Z of 0.35, Z of 0.25, Z of 0.15, Z of 0.05, and then my last pass is going to be Z of minus 0.05. And then we run that last pass. Okay, and that's going to cut that whole profile with 100,000 step downs. Now we can go ahead and lift our cutter up, G00, Z of one inch. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and jump to my next sub program, which is going to be cutting that slot. So I want to move to the start point of my slot. Now this is that point when I started right over here and went ahead and did my slot cut, my first one. So we are going to move to X of 7 um, inches, Y of 3.475. I'm just getting that program, that point right out of there. And uh, this is going to be slot 1. Okay, now I want to move down G01 to my first Z depth. Z of 0.65. And now uh, we can add the feed rate right back in. And then we're going to go ahead and do an M98 program again. P00021. This is the second sub program. We used program 20 up above. We're going to use program 21 for this one. Once that's done, we're going to move to our next. Z height, which is going to be G01, Z of 0.55, and then we'll run it again. M98, P00021. We're going to add in our next Z point. which is that we're only going a quarter inch deep. So this last one's going to be Z of 0 0.500. We're going to run the program. Okay, then we're going to lift up G00, Z of one inch. Now it's going to be up to you guys to finish this program by adding in this lower pass. So you will you would have created 
this lower pass with, uh, you'll probably call it um, 00022 program. So it's a sub program for cutting the lower pass on this slot. And you're gonna basically wanna be running this code again where you're gonna take three passes. And then don't forget at the bottom of your program, so after you've run everything, you want your M9, your M5, your M30 to end the program, and then your percent sign. So that's your assignment for the week is to get this finished up. So you're going to have to um, write that lower pass sub program. You're going to have to add the, the passes into this main program. And then um, when I see you guys next Thursday in class, I'd like to see these on the trainer and see how they turned out. So that's what I have for class this week. Um, go ahead and uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions. And uh, good luck.